In this video, Ancient Explorers, we will continue to explore the fascinating world of the Maya. And in particular, we will draw by freehand a Mayan style pyramid on paper and then paint it with acrylic paint. The Maya are a cultural group who occupy territories in southern Mexico, Guatemala and northern Belize. Their ancestors developed and possessed one of the best known civilizations of Mesoamerica prior to the Spanish conquest. The Maya are especially famous for their architecture. Over several thousand years, they built agricultural systems, villages, and great town centers that included majestic stone pyramids. Their pyramids have a number of distinctive characteristics. The buildings were stepped and built over time, and the main building at the top of the monument was usually dedicated to a god or an important ruler. The pyramid that we're going to paint and draw is inspired by Pyramid 1 at Tikal. Located in northern Guatemala, Tikal is an ancient Mayan city surrounded by rainforests in the province of Yucan. The city was inhabited from around the 6th century AD through to 10th century AD. In ancient times, the city was called Yak Muta. Temple One, also known as the Temple of the Jaguar, is part of a larger group of buildings. This arrangement of buildings is called the Twin Temples Complex. In the plaza are around 70 carved stones. These stones represent altars or stela and are carved with dates and short descriptions about events related to the city and its rulers. At the end of our creative adventure, I will share five interesting facts about the Temple of the Jaguar. We will draw the pyramid by shapes in pencil. So let us begin. I start by drawing a dotted line down the centre of my page. I will use this line as a guide. Meanwhile, the paper I'm drawing on is heavy weighted watercolour paper. Towards the bottom left and right corners of my page, I draw two dots. As I wish for the dots to be more or less in the same position on the opposite ends of the paper, I use my second finger as a rough guide. Then I draw two dots just above the halfway mark of the paper. I then connect the dots with straight, horizontal and vertical lines, drawing a trapezium. Then on the top side of the trapezium, close to the left and right edges, I draw four dots representing the corners of a rectangle. Then I connect the dots. I draw a second rectangle of the same length as the first, but slightly smaller in width. I now draw a third rectangle, which is smaller than the previous ones. To complete the upper section of the pyramid, I draw a fourth but smaller rectangle directly above the third and then half a circle towards the centre line and above the last and fourth rectangle. This unusual shape represents the pyramid's root. Then I return to the first rectangle and towards its middle I draw a small rectangle and this will represent the entrance to the main building. 
Now we will draw the sides of the pyramid staircase. Once again I draw four dots, two directly below the temple's entrance and then the other two at the base of the pyramid or the bottom side of the trapezium. Then I draw two vertical lines connecting top and bottom dots. Now it is time to draw the pyramid steps. On each side of the staircase, I divide the lower half of the trapezium into six slanted rectangles or rhomboids. Then I divide the remaining area into six smaller rhomboids. Then starting from the top, I draw a series of short horizontal lines that will represent the steps of the staircase. As I reach the bottom, I draw my lines slightly further apart. I am doing this to draw the steps in perspective. Now it is time to paint. First I gather a range of brushes. I plan to use a larger brush to paint or cover larger areas of the artwork. Meanwhile I'll use the smaller and rectangular head brush to practice long strokes. I'm also going to experiment too with this angle brush. I start by mixing black and white acrylic paint together with a small amount of clean water. Then with my small rectangular head brush and with long horizontal strokes, I paint the pyramid steps and stairs grey. For the temple's principal wall or facade, I apply a small amount of clear water and then add a light application of grey paint 
allowing the paint to spread. If you apply too much paint, don't worry, simply dab the area while wet with absorbent paper. Then I carefully apply a darker layer of grey paint to the temple's roof. I then paint the temple's entrance with undiluted black acrylic paint. Once you've painted all areas of the pyramid, put it aside to dry. Once the first layer is dry, if you like, you can apply more grey, black or white paint to the areas that you want to be darker or lighter. For example, to represent shadow on the staircase, I painted short, horizontal, lines with a darker grey paint. You may like to have a play and see if you can create different textures. For the final stage we will loosely paint some plants around the temple. I have chosen a dark green and yellow acrylic paint. You are more than welcome to choose any colours you like. To each colour I'm adding a small amount of clear water and then mixing them well. With my larger brush, I apply green paint to the lower area of the background. Then I take my angled brush and paint short strokes on different angles. I then repeat this but with yellow paint. I really love this part. As the green paint is still wet, the colors blend together, creating different shades and textures. To finish off, I darken some areas with a little bit more green paint. And there you go ancient explorers, we have drawn by freehand and painted an ancient Mayan style pyramid. Now let us learn 5 fascinating facts about the temple. Number 1. Belt of limestone, the pyramid is about 50 meters tall. The pyramid is about two-fifths the size of the Great Pyramid of Giza in ancient Egypt. Number two, the Temple of the Jaguar is a funerary temple. Between 1959 and 1962, archaeologists dug into the structure and after digging deeply, they discovered a burial chamber known as Burial 116. The burial consisted of an adult male who had been dressed with very fine jewellery made of jade, including large circular ear spools. Mine rulers and other elite wore this type of ear jewellery. The man also wore a feline skin, possibly of a jaguar. 
and placed around them were jars, plates and other types of pottery and stingray spines, fish vertebrae and spondylus shells. Spondylus is a type of mollusk that comes from the warm waters of the Pacific Ocean. Researchers believe that the man buried inside of the temple is no other than King Hasuo Khan Kawila I. The king ruled from 682 AD to 734 AD. He also had a nickname which was Ah Kakao meaning Lord Chocolate. Number 3 Although it is very hard to see it today, it is believed that the roof of the temple was decorated with a sculpture of the king. Number 4. While we see grey stone walls today, it is highly likely that in the past they were plastered and painted. If not redone on a regular basis, plaster and paint erode away. Often, Mayan pyramids were painted red. Number 5 Today the pyramid is located inside of the Tikal National Park. The park covers around 57,000 hectares. That includes wetlands, savanna and tropical rainforests. Plant species include Spanish cedar, mahogany, and the ceiba tree, which is sacred to the Maya. The park is also home to a diverse range of animals, including hummingbirds, parrots, toucans, spider monkeys, crocodiles, snakes, and even the jaguar. For its natural and historic qualities, the site is heritage listed. I hope you've enjoyed this creative adventure, Ancient Explorers. If you would like to learn more about Tikal, I invite you to check out my references in the description box below. Meanwhile, I'd love you to connect with me. All of my contact details are in the description box below, including the links to my social media accounts. And if you enjoyed the video, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. I look forward to exploring and creating with you again soon, Ancient Explorers. Until then, take care and stay well. Ciao.